Hey everyone, it's Christina here with Ohio Hippies. We're gonna take some time to interview Josh, the owner of Ohio Hippies today. I've got a few questions for him. I know there's stuff you guys have been wanting to know too. So we're just gonna touch base on what's been going on. The biggest thing I know everybody's been kind of curious about is why the name change. Yeah, so the name change came because we started uh, vending trade shows last year. We were making our own resin products and we would vend those products at the trade show. And unfortunately, we, we ran into another Cali culture and um, the best option for us was to go ahead with the name change. Uh, my buddy Kevin Dankman actually came up with the name and uh, you know everybody seems to like it as much as they like Cali culture. How weird was it going five years with Cali culture and then switching to Ohio hippies? Uh, I didn't like it. <laughs> it took me a long time to actually adjust to it and actually think that it was was a good switch but now you know since I'm from Ohio it kind of speaks to me personally just like Cali culture did um, I'm used to it and uh, I, I like the name change now new new uh, avenues to go with uh, Ohio hippies opposed to Cali culture absolutely and now that we've came up on five years being open why don't you tell us just a little bit about how you started and how you've gotten this far oh man so <laughs> Uh, basically, you know, I quit my job at Perfect Power Wash. Um, no, I'm sorry. I quit my my job at Direct TV, and from there, I decided I wanted to be self-employed, and I invested all my money uh, from a tax return into local art and uh, glass pipes, things like that, and. Um, from there, I had an Etsy site. I grew into flea markets and Nelson's Ledges. Um, eventually, I got the chance to get this store, you know, rent the store in downtown. And um, it was just like a snowball of growth over about, I don't know, seven years or so. Slow, it was slow moving, but um, every little time I got to invest into the company more, I got more and more inventory. So it, it was a slow growth. Um, but uh, the way it, it unfolded was very comfortable for me. I was self-employed the whole time for it. Uh, actually working my other job, Joshua, the help. So, How has been being downtown in Alliance been to you? So downtown Alliance is, is, a, is a tough area to be because uh, the area has gone through so much depression. Um, Everyone downtown is pushing for a revitalization phase of this downtown, um, and, and I'm pushing for it too, because I know that if we can make this downtown look like, you know, uh, maybe Canton or Akron, you know, th there will be more uh, opportunity for more jobs, more businesses, and every everyone down here will grow together, so. Everyone wins, that's for sure. Um, what are some of your pr favorite products we carry here in the store? What, do, what would you recommend our customers come check out? So right now, I love the Delta 8 uh, wax. I prefer the concentrate, not, not in the cart. Um, I'm a huge fan of it. I use it every day. Um, it helps a lot with just anxiety and stress of day to day. Um, and then I would say it'd be my number one. My number two as of recently is gonna have to be Kratom. I use a lot of Kratom, um, you know, for back pains. Uh, again, it works great for mood enhancement. Um, yeah, Kratom and, and Delta A, I would highly recommend those. Out of our new products, hmm, what do I like the most? You know, I'm gonna give a shout out to my brother Brad. He's a glass blower in Medina. He's been bringing in some really cool handmade glass pipes that he makes uh, out of his own shop. Um, Brad goes by Bearded Pineapple Glass. Um, you can stop in, check it out. It's really beautiful, swirls, a classic style of glass blowing that I absolutely love. Some of my favorites too. So other than the store, why don't you just let some of our customers know how you've been spending your time, what all you've done this last year, what exciting things have you done? Yeah, man, last year was intense. We did a lot of trade shows last year. Uh, so we went to Las Vegas, Colorado, Florida, and New Jersey all within one year, did four trade shows. Um, we had 
you know, our first trade show, we had incredible results and, and, the, and the rest, um, not as much as I like. Uh, but that's how I'm really filling my extra time. If you're not seeing me on the floor here, it's because I'm working on projects like that. Um, you know, and then I have some, some other projects, you know, that I'm working on right now, you know, collecting vintage mid-century antiques. And I'm going to set up a room for you guys so you can see all the clothing and, uh, well, not clothing, but furniture, uh, dishware, all, all sorts of cool, just vintage things. So I've been busy with a lot of other stuff. Yeah, you have. Well, what's coming up for the store? What's, what's the next step for Ohio Hippies? So the next step is, the biggest thing on my mind right now is getting out to these events here in Alliance and making a presence. I believe what we're going to do is, a, is have a uh, booth and vend snow cones and popcorn this year and uh, hand out flyers for our store and just kind of get recognition for our store. Um, on top of that, what, I would what I'm hoping that I'm going to do this year, have time to do, is send our team to events uh, at Nelson's Ledges, at um, Hartville Flea Market, and just some craft shows all around Ohio, just to see how that goes, because we haven't been able to test that out yet. All right, I think that's about all I've got for you today. Would you like to tell the customers anything else? Hmm... I would recommend grabbing a flyer when you come in. It has all our specials. It has discounts. We also have a promotion going on right now. If you stop in, you can get a free sample of CBD um, and Kratom. So if you like either of those things, I would go ahead and stop in. If you haven't got a sample, well, we have an excellent sample for you. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Josh. Yeah. We appreciate you. Yeah, thank you.